when a man has a hard time working and can't provide for his family, it brings a lot of anxiety, you know, especially around the holidays. When you have brain injury, there is a lot of uh, mental issues that can't be done. So like when you try to work, you can't process information or process numbers the way you used to. And then there's a, a lot of emotional baggage that comes along with an injury, a lot of anxiety, depression, uh, anger, and things like that that are hard to deal with. Welcome to My Pods Podcast. I'm Dr. Joe Schneider, and after 35 years as a functional neurologist, a personal journey through stroke recovery and helping thousands of patients. I'm here to share breakthrough solutions for POTS and neurological wellness, from getting out of bed in the morning to rebuilding your nervous system. This is your guide to understanding and overcoming neurological challenges. Let's begin this journey to recovery together. Well, today I'm going to sing a Christmas carol. This is my favorite Christmas carol. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her king. Now, <laughs> in this season, uh, I'm going to wish you a lot of joy. Uh, today uh, brought us fantastic joy within our center. We've re- and This year, we've reconstructed our team. We got a fantastic team. Um, they're training really well. They work really well together. And um, we pray every morning uh, to start our day. And, um, and we ask God to give us the strength and the guidance to treat the difficult cases that God has been sending us in our center. Now, over the past year, I've had a, a patient, um, a young man with a concussion, And um, he was having a hard time working, taking care of his family. Um, He actually fell through a floor. He was working as an electrician, fell through the floor, and then hit the floor at a very, very high speed. So he, he went down probably around 15, 20 feet in this building that he was working in. He got a severe concussion. Um... And then he was having trouble working for more than a few hours every day. Couldn't take care of his family. Um, they were pretty stressed out. They have a couple kids. And then he uh, treated with us. He did a, a program and a half. So it's a, a program and a half for us, about 30 visits. He came twice a week for 10 weeks. And he came once a week for 10 weeks. And um, in that t- amount of time, he, he's working full time. He feels really good. He's able to provide for his family. And, you know, when, when a man has a hard time working, he can't provide for his family. His, uh, his wife was a stay-at-home mom, so she was working really heavy and hard, taking care of the kids. Um, and it brings a lot of anxiety, you know, especially around the holidays. And we talked about that on our last video, how holidays can be very stressful. And one of the stressful things is when you have a brain injury. And when you have brain injury, there is a lot of uh, mental issues that can't be done. So like when you try to work, you can't process information or process numbers the way you used to. Um, And then there's a, a lot of emotional baggage that comes along with an injury, a lot of anxiety, depression, uh, anger and things like that, that are hard to deal with. So it brings a lot of pressure into someone's life, a lot of pressure. And so we were able to work with him, and he dedicated himself to getting better because he doesn't want to be this way. When someone has an injury, they don't want to be this way. They, they, they really want to get back to their life. They don't want to have to be dealing with headaches, neck pain, back pain anxiety, depression, a brain fog. You know, the symptoms go on and on. And when you do a comprehensive program, like we have the Hope Brain and Body Recovery Center, people get their life back. 
They get their work back. They get their hobbies back. They get their enjoyment back. So he could work again. He's a worker. He loves working. He loves going out, getting things done, and then coming home. And sometimes people just struggle through work. Then they get home, and they have nothing left. They have nothing left for their family, their wife. They have nothing left for their kids. And everybody's wondering, like, what's going on with my husband? What's going on with the father? What's going on? What's happening? And they don't know. They don't have answers. But when they go through a program like this, we get answers. And the answers come from, number one, we do brain scans. We do two different types of brain scans, a QEG that is an amplitude-based, 19-point amplitude-based QEG that gives us a lot of information about connectivity and also um, about metabolic activity that may be going on in the brain, like loss of mitochondrial function, inflammation, could be pathogens that cause it, could be uh, food sensitivities or gut-related issues that cause it. And then we do the brain master scan. And the brain master scan gives us great information about 6,900 points of connectivity within the brain and the subcortex. Pretty powerful. When you know you get the information from someone who's struggling, then that's specificity. And that's important to understand. Specificity is important. Now, there's a lot of therapies that go around that are beneficial, like uh, transcranial magnetic stimulation. Great stuff. Transcranial electrical stimulation, direct current stimulation. You can use that, but it's not specific. When you do these brain scans, these QEEG, quantitative electroencephalograms, we get specificity. And when you get specificity, then the neurofeedback that we do to help reconnect the brain is very specific also. And then when we rescan, we see progress. And then we rescan again at the end and we see progress. So we know we're going in the right direction with every brain injury and we're reconnecting the different parts of the brain due to the injury. Now, could, I, could we do transcranial magnetic stimulation? We could. And we could probably see some specificity changing the QEG, but it's more important to do the neurofeedback because it's, number one, non-invasive. And it's very beneficial for brains to have the reconnection. Now, during neurofeedback, you will watch the content. Now, the other day we had a patient who was watching um, a content of a program that was talking about a tragedy that was happening, a brain crash where people are, you know, trying to survive and the emergency help that got there. And we were watching the um, trends on the neurofeedback and they weren't good. They weren't good. Now, his history is that in 9-11, he was a couple buildings away from 9-11 when we had the buildings come down, the World Trade Center. Now, we switched his viewing to something like nature, relaxing, and then his trends came in. So he's attracted to these programs that actually cause his brain to have problems. And so we changed the content of the video that he was watching, and he had better trends. And he has better neurofeedback and better things that are going on. So specificity is important. The quality of the feedback is important. And so that we know, we know where we're going, what we're doing, and how we're reconnecting the brain. So neurofeedback's one way that we do that. Now, this gentleman it brought his wife in for depression, loss of energy, uh, feeling wiped out, and probably because of the what she went through with his injury, it started to affect her. So the wife finished the program today, and she's pregnant, and she did really fantastic. And joy to the world 
because we have a family now that is functioning at a level that brings joy to your heart. They're functioning at a level that is a major contribution to their family, their extended family, and also to the community and to his, his place of work who have been like really good with him to get him back to where he should be and being a contribution, a really good comp a contribution to not only his work, his family, his church, and so forth and so on. So when we look at the joy that comes from brain rehab, then we're, we know that we changed lives. And changing lives is something that we don't just take on, but the patient takes on. Now, the patient needs to have courage. And that courage that it takes for them to get better. Now, when I had my stroke, um, the doctors weren't giving me a lot of hope. But then when I went to the psychologist at the hospital that was really fantastic, she said, you got grit. And I'm like, I got grit. What does that mean, right? <laughs> I got grit. I mean, I can put up with being injured. No, you'll find solutions. So finding solutions or having the desire to find a solution for brain injury is the first part of getting the joy from the effects of a comprehensive full program that creates plasticity or getting back neurons, getting back tracks, getting back more axons, more interconnections in the brain. Because unless you got them, it's not going to serve you in your life. So I'm wishing you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And if you have someone in your life that's straining and suffering from the effects of a brain trauma, and they're motivated to go to a different level of function in their brain, in their body, and in their life, then have them give us a call. It's 610-544-9800. It's important in life to be in recovery. And once you get recovery and you find out the mechanisms that you need to do on your own to keep you in recovery, then you can do that. And one of those qualities is hope, joy, and a concern for other people that are going through brain injury. This is Dr. Joe from the Hope Brain and Body Recovery Center, and joy to the world this Christmas holiday and more brain recovery for people who need it. Thank you. Thank you for joining us on My Pots Podcast. If you're looking for more support, visit us at HopeBrainCenter.com or follow our journey on TikTok where we share daily insights and inspiration. Remember, healing is possible. I'm living proof. I'm Dr. Joseph Schneider, and I'll see you next time as we continue exploring paths to recovery.